morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is August the 14th of 2023, and I have my hot cup of coffee right here, and I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of 1 John. The book of 1 John, as you are turning there, let's go ahead and look at our bad dad joke. What do you call a scary-looking reindeer? What do you call a scary-looking reindeer? A caribou. Okay, that was really, really, really bad. I groaned when I read that this morning. But anyway, good morning to you. The day is only going to get better from here. And according to my records... On Coffee with Pastor, there are three New Testament books that we have not read together. That would be the three epistles of John, three very short uh, books of the Bible. We're going to go ahead and do that, and then we will cite, or set our sights on finishing the reading of the Old Testament. That'll take us a little bit longer, but that's okay. We've got all the time in the world to open up God's Word, read it together, and enjoy it together, to learn from it together. Uh, yesterday was a very, very wonderful Lord's Day. Um, we had a number of people visiting with us yesterday. It was just a good, good day all the way around. So we are very quickly coming to that nine o'clock hour. And so we're going to prepare ourselves to bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together, shall we? Heavenly Father, what a joy it is to come into your presence, knowing, knowing what that you know what the day holds. In fact, as we start this new week, you know what the week holds. And Lord, I pray, I ask of you that your blessing would be upon today. Father, I'm not going to ask that you bless our plan but rather bless the day. And Father, as we seek to pursue your will in all things, as we seek to bring you honor and glory, as we seek to please you, Father, we ask your blessing. Your blessing upon, again, the day. Your blessing upon your people. And again, Lord, as we stop and contemplate the fact that you know what awaits us today, we ask for your strength, we ask for grace, we ask for wisdom, that we might face each and every circumstance, and that when all is said and done, that we will have been well-pleasing in your sight. Father, we ask your blessing upon the reading of your word. Very, very few people in human history have had a copy of your word of their very own that they could hold, they could look at, much less read and understand. We certainly realize that this is your grace upon us. That you have given us your word in order that our lives might be conformed to it. Conformed to the image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have given us your word to reveal yourself to us. You have given us your word. in order to express and inform us of what your expectations are. And Father, we pray that we would be faithful stewards of your word. As we are now, that we would open it up, that we would read it together, that we would grow in our Christian walk Father, again, we thank you for this glorious privilege. 
Now again, Father, bless your word. Bless your people. Bless this day. For we ask it in Christ's wonderful and holy name. Amen. The book of 1 John. Very brief book, very brief chapter. But let's go ahead and begin reading. 1 John, chapter 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. As I mentioned, it is a very brief chapter, a very brief book. John begins to deal with the truth. It's an interesting study to go through First John and look at that phrase, the truth. Is he talking about that which conforms to reality, or is he talking about the person of Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life? We as Christians are commanded to walk in the light. We are commanded to walk in the truth. And here comes our admonition to be faithful. Be faithful to all that God's word reveals to us. Doing his will, seeking his glory. And never, never allow ourselves to become a stumbling block or someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, please remember today, all day, that God loves you and so do we. And I know I haven't said it in a while, but you need to hear me say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness to this ministry, for the encouragement that I receive from you daily. Thank you. Remember, not only does God love you, but we love you as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. God bless.